And because I was building my uh, truck with uh, one ton dually rims, I had to uh, use one ton dually hubs, which are pretty heavy. So I debated about uh, making my disc brake mounts for those hubs or just making whole new spindles. And I decided to make entirely new spindles. So uh, here's my uh, CAD drawings on the on the disc brake mount and the uh, um, spindle mounts. And this is milling it. And anyone that doesn't know milling, it probably look at this and say, "Well, it, it's already cut out." And when you mill, you usually you take it like a hundred thousandths at a time until you get all the way through. And then this milling cut here is just the very final 15 thousandths off the outside. So this is like way faster than, than normal. It'd probably take about three or four minutes to get around this thing in normal speed. And then when I'm all done, I'll start building this spindle, which I'll show you in a second here. There's my disc brake. Uh, mounts for the spindle. Here's all the uh, measurements for the uh, spindle that I'll be building and first I'll uh, turn the outside diameter of the, that down and then I press those hubs that I built in my mill onto them and then I, I weld the uh, hubs on and then I uh, start machining the uh, rest of it which includes all the bearings and everything and then I finish the uh, like the disc brake mounts and stuff, I roughed them about 15 thousandths over and then I finish them on the lathe here so everything's true to everything else. And uh, then I, when I'm done, it's all ready to go. I, I just put some paint on here just to keep them from rust and I'll probably powder coat them when I'm done. And uh, then I um, got my uh, disc brakes mounted on there and there's the wheel wood and what it looks like and I really like the way the wheel wood caliper looks showing through my rims I think that looks pretty cool so uh, now I just uh, got it set up here so I can start making my brackets to hold the calipers on and here's a drawing of my caliper uh, mounts and one of the pieces of aluminum was 1.187 the other was three quarter wide and uh, here's what they look like together I didn't get anything else on this and then here's what she looks like all spinning on on the truck now for the next thing I think it might be my power windows so I'll see you then